Good morning, everybody. Uh, that's right. That's the combine manual. And I should not have done that because I lost my page. Oh, here we go. I ear tagged it. Um, so I turned the, the combine on once. Hey! I turned the combine on before once already. And uh, the monitor was like all flashing red, like nothing is communicating, like the engine control unit not detected, the right hand control unit not detected, the, you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And so I like quick pull out the manual and I'm like trying to run like diagnostic codes and figure out what in the world is going on. And I was like, you know what? I should just call um, the case dealership. So I called him and the guy was like, have you tried turning it off, turning it back on? I'm not even joking, that's what he said, which, I probably should have just done before I called him. But I was like, no, he's like, all right, do that. If it doesn't work, call me back. So I just turned off, waited like five minutes, turned it back on and look at that. We're set. We're good to go. However, I am finding when I was flipping through this manual, I was actually finding a very hopeful page. And this has, it was like a, this is like the dictionary of all the pictures you see of all these things. And that when you flip through your screens, when you like flip through your screens, all of the different things, like all the different settings you can have them on, um, actually very helpful. So I think I might need to spend some time reading this. It has like this whole instruction manual on how to like properly set up your combine. It's really cool. So I'm going to have to do some learning because usually dad does a lot of that stuff for me. So I'm gonna do some reading, but reading comes late. Right now we have to harvest. new addition here I find myself trying to drive like steer and then also move um, the hydrostat handle so like both hands are busy at the same time and I'm always talking on the phone so I was like you know what there's a reason why people use Bluetooth headpieces I'm gonna give them a try and wow I've had it for two days now life-changing um, I literally ran the battery out of it yesterday talking on the phone I will I highly recommend highly recommend So imagine the field as a big square with the pivot um, point right in the middle. So we have all of this half of the square done. Now we're moving on to this half of the square and the pivot is moving on to the part of the field that we've already harvested. So we can harvest this part free and clear. Maybe wondering why I'm only taking half of a swath when I could be taking 12 rows. Um, it's because I am down a grain cart right now. Actually, down two grain carts. Um, the grain cart that you're used to seeing, the green one hooked up to the 8345R, was brought in because it was making this horrible rattle sound. Um, but they diagnosed the problem, but the parts won't be here till Monday. So it's in the process of getting fixed. Um, we actually got a new to us second cart this year, a red JNM, just like the green cart, but red. Um, however, it was out here yesterday doing its like test run. And uh, we found out that the tire pressure was 10 and it probably should be more like 30 or 40. So it's at the farm getting a uh, tire pressure fixed, get the tires all aired up and then it'll be back here. So for now, 
I'm just taking a half swath so that I can make it down to the other end of the field where a truck is waiting for me. And then I'll take another half swath back where a truck is waiting for me at this end of the field. I like to think of it as just getting the machine warmed up for the day. Just starting things out slow. Buy that in the rear view mirror. I believe my uh, grain cart is here. We'll see if this magic wand summons them. Three quarters of the way full. And look at that. Remember the game Guess the Guess Row? This is definitely the Guess Row. Yeah, that's not good. See all the corn like leaning this way and leaning this way? So there's a 16 row planter this way and a 16 row planter this way. And we have a 12 row head. So almost every pass, I get a Guess Row situation. And I don't know, so this field, we haven't set new rows on it for many years and the planter just keeps getting more and more off each year. And so I think before we plant uh, this fall, we're going to need to disc up this whole field and set new rows on it so this doesn't happen next year. And we're back. And miracle of all miracles. Do you guys remember last harvest when my grandpa Kurt was in the hospital? He coded three times. Doctor said he would never make it home, uh, never, walk or talk or be out of the hospital. Um, he's running grain cart for me today. We got our um, original grain cart back. The tractor, the grain cart, everything's fixed. We have our second grain cart, which you know it's a second because it's a red j and and not a green j and um, We got that hooked up to a tractor. Papa Kurt is running that. We got the hired guy in the green grain cart. We've got a hired truck driver and then dad is running our other three trucks. So. Uh, crazy operation today. Um, we started the day off with, look at this map, okay, this number said 77 field acres done. And it's um, only been an hour and we're to 86.2 acres done. So 10 acres about so far this morning and I am ready for harvest to be over, okay? I'm just, I'm ready to be done. And so we are going to try to get as much harvest done today as possible.
there's not as much talking as I do to the camera um, in real life. It is mostly, like 90% of the time I would say, just me sitting in silence listening to the machine. And then listening to whatever's going on on the radio. Um, we have done almost 30 acres so far today. Well, the pivot went entirely too far. Uh, I still need to harvest that corn over there. That's, oh, it's, it's still moving, actually. Fabulous. Nice. There's just never enough people. I needed it. I'm the combine driver. We've got two crane cart drivers. I need at least three truck drivers and honestly, one other person to just move vehicles around because this is ridiculous. Okay, that was fun. I just had two of my cousins come out and visit and ride with me. And uh, do you remember how like seven hours ago I said, oh man, I'm feeling really... That's my cab corn from earlier. Don't mind that. Um, I was seeing how done and tired I was, but they really rejuvenated me. I'm a talker. Don't know if you guys hey, knew. This truck only has 70, on it. Knew that by now. I love talking to people. And so having them ride in the buddy seat. Okay, that was uh, awesome. I think my combine has two lights on it in total, and one of them is on the end of the unloading auger. It is so still, no dust so has moved. Side console, the black turn dial is the one all the way to the right. And uh, none of my trash has moved either. So every little piece of corn leaf has just accumulated. I need a really big air compressor to blow this off or a strong gust of wind. Guess uh, what? There's no turn dial clear to the right on the council. We're getting lights figured out right now. There's three black dots on the sidewall. Three this field is done. So we started at 77 acres this morning and uh, we finished at 155 acres. So you can do that math yourself. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I have no brain power left, so. We got a lot of acres okay, done. I got it. So we're just going to park everything for tonight um, because the co-op where we're hauling the bushels is closed now. And yeah, I guess just get everything ready for tomorrow and should be another big day then, so. Thanks for watching today's video. If you haven't already, subscribe, now's your chance. You do not want to miss out on the rest of Harvest content. We just have a few days left. So uh, leave a comment if you liked the video or if you didn't, I guess I take feedback. I take constructive criticism and um, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.